some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Michigan, where a no-nonsense judge pretty much shuts down a Sovtard's arguments in a uh, child custody hearing. And, uh, well, he's not too happy about it, of course, so he wants to complain, complain, complain. But it really doesn't work out for him in the end. So, without further ado, let's get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Is in the matter of... Of David Shorts versus Jessica Sue Shorts, file number 2020-47465DM. I have Jenny R. Stone, P77883, appearing on behalf of the defendant. All parties are appearing via Zoom. We are here today on plaintiff's objection to the referee's recommendation and order. Both parties petitioned for a referee hearing regarding the issues of child support and parenting time. The referee determined there was no reason to modify the parenting time schedule. The referee did determine that it was appropriate to change some parenting time conditions, adding a licensed driver whom the children are familiar with must transport the children. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on here. Hold on a second. Did you just say that a licensed driver has to transport the children? Uh, yeah, okay. Well, the soft tar is definitely not going to get that job. Parenting time exchanges will continue to take place in Albion. Neither parent will record parenting time exchanges. Neither parent will disparage the other parent or anyone in the parent's household in front of the children. Neither party will discuss enrolling the minor children in extracurriculars um, with the children without first discussing with the other parent. Neither parent will schedule summer activities outside of their own parenting time without the consent of the other parent. And the parent will forfeit a parenting time phone call made later than 515. He also entered a uniform child support order. Mr. Shorts, you objected to everything as you essentially alleged that defendant mother is alienating the minor children and you're indigent so you can't afford support. You did provide, thank you, a very thorough brief. Um, some of the things I wanted to talk to you about is um, what is, um, let me look at your judgment support. You, your Honor, may I add one thing real quick? Yeah. So um, we did file an objection as well. I called and I got a court date of August 19th, of 2024 at 9 a.m., we mailed it in on the 26th and I served a copy to Mr. Schwartz. In the meantime, he must have gone to the clerk's office, filed an objection, and he got this date. So it's my understanding we should have, we have two different dates for objections, but both plaintiff and the defendant have filed an objection. Yeah, I know that. I was just going through his. Oh, okay. All right. I just yeah, wanted to I make sure that you, because um, we have the different you dates. You have an objection that she wants to be able to enroll the children in extracurriculars during the school year. That's your objection, yes, right? Yes. Yep. Just clarification. Then, yep. I just hadn't gotten there yet. All right. So, thank you. Sorry. That's okay. Uh, let's see. So, Mr. Shorts, I was looking back at the judgment. Let's see here. I am the judgment of divorce. Somewhere back here. Oh, this is a second file. So, Mr. Shorts, are you saying that there's a clause in your judgment of divorce that the parties be required to leave 50% of their estate to the children? Yes, there is a clause in our divorce that states that. And at the time, I was. You know, I didn't have any future plans of meeting anybody else or moving forward. Uh, and now that that has happened, um, because I am still young, I do have a daughter, um, biological daughter that I have to include in that stuff. And it just doesn't work. You know, that. Okay. That so, cause. Mr. Shorts, I can't go back and change a judgment of divorce. Okay. I mean, once the judgment of divorce is entered, it's entered and that's it. Okay, so then I'll just leave everything in my fiance's, my future wife's name, and I'll put it in a living trust to where nobody can touch it. 
that's fine. Because no court can order. So, so, and then you said that you are entitled to a jury trial and the issuance of a child support order. And no, you're not. You're not. Really, dude? Uh, you wanted a jury trial for a family case? Yeah, good luck with that one, dude, because it's not going to happen. That's for criminal and civil matters. This is a family matter, you dipshit. I mean, think of the logistics of that, Sovtard. You're essentially trying to get a jury, which requires a lot of time and a lot of effort to get these people here, to get them here on time, for what? To make a decision in a family matter? Yeah, not going to happen. So you guys are allowed to go against Supreme Court law? Is that it? Because it, it's under a mis... You can't have something without due process in a jury trial. Um, so, no, none of that's true. Really? Because I just beat a case and had two cases nollied and dismissed under judicial clause. Like, okay. what jurisdiction? A soft heart. Dismissal does not exactly mean you won the case. And besides that, have you even bothered to look up the procedures for family court uh, proceedings? Uh, I'm guessing not, because they're a lot different than civil or criminal. So child support is entered. You had due process. You had hearings. It was entered. You provided your financial information. Um, if you're indigent and not working, you can't afford your child support. The resolution of that is to get a job. I wonder if this uh, soft heart has any education that can get him a job beyond that of a crash test dummy. But if not, I guess it's better than nothing. Hey man, how you work this radio? So um, I, no. have, I am working, but the thing is, is you as a court do nothing for me. You as a court have failed me miserably. You have a court also told me that the Michigan Child Custody Act is a private act. It's not because if it was a private act, it wouldn't be on your website through Lenoy County as a handbook. It wouldn't be across the state and every other county as a handbook. You as Lenoy County fail people miserably. And don't okay. protect well, father. none of that, none of that really applies. So thank you. And okay, then, then let's um, take it to a, let's push it to a Supreme Court matter, Your Honor, because you so do not you can do that. You do have the right to appeal this to the Court of Appeals, and um, you have every right okay. to and do that. This, but I want this whole case dismissed under judicial bias because you used to be my court appointed attorney back when I was seventeen. And I don't feel I have a fair trial through this court. And I so, want Mr. To Shorts, I represented more than 10 people a week for a period of 10 years. I may have yep, represented yeah, you. I don't and remember and you. It wasn't it on this matter. case. Yeah, you had a dealing with her back when you were 17. And uh, she had a dealing back when uh, you were 17. And while well, she was dealing with a thousand other people. So, uh, yeah. How does she remember you? And so there's it a five-year period that has passed. So, Mr. Shorts, that is, I'm not going to recuse myself because I represented you so many years ago on a completely different case. So, no. I feel that I'm not getting a fair trial because of it, so I'll turn it into the JTC. This isn't a trial. This is an objection hearing. And I would grant your request if it was something I was able to grant you relief on, but these are things you, I can't you grant are. you relief on. You no, are allowed. I have to follow the law. Can... Okay. Well, so do I because I've been seeking help because I can't afford it. So yes, I do go to other lawyers and seek help. And excellent. Also, yeah. So when you can hire that attorney to do an appeal if you'd like. But so just to make a thorough record, um, I can't go back and change a judgment and divorce based on the reasons you said. Um, I cannot give you a jury trial on child support. And yes, you the referee does have no, and the referee yeah. does have the right to issue a uniform child support order. If you wish to appeal that, feel free. So, Miss Stone, what you're saying is your appeal, your objection will be heard on the 19th of August. We were hoping that we would be able to address all matters today because it does um, deal with uh, uh, sports that start just prior to school. 
I object to that. Absolutely not. I had to wait for your guys' stuff that you objected. It is not okay. for that matter. So, Miss Stone, all right, Mr. Shorts, Miss Stone, we'll hear it on the 19th. All right. Thank you, Your Honor. All right. Thank you, Mr. Shorts and Miss Shorts, Miss Stone. Okay, Thank you. wait a minute. Why am I being dismissed? You haven't even gone through my whole entire case, so you're just going to go ahead and dismiss it and not even go through the whole process. Those are your objections. That's all I received. Really? Because on the back of that, there's a quorum non judis, and you haven't even spoke about that. Um, a what? Quorum non judis. It's in the pa packet that you have, Your Honor, and you haven't even spoke on it. Any because judicial it doesn't apply. Mr. Shorts, we're done for today. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Miss Stone. Thank you. <laughs> And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you don't uh, feed your children lead paint as a child, nor should you allow them to uh, stick their fingers in light sockets, because uh, a combination of both will definitely fry your brain, and this is a great example of that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you playing cereal? Who's that?